Hi, I am Ellen Drummonds Curtis, and I am happy to welcome you all to our special video for the 2020 National Day of Prayer for Mental Health, Wellness, Recovery, and Understanding. Please enjoy these submitted videos, which originate from multiple and international faith traditions. This is sponsored by the Spirituality Awareness Subcommittee of the Cultural Competency Advisory Committee of San Bernardino County's Department of Behavioral Health. Your soul is welcome here. Welcome from Unity of Ukaipa. We are Reverend Deanna Joseph and Ellen Drummonds Curtis, Vice Chair of the Spirituality Awareness Subcommittee of the Department of Behavioral Health. And here is our prayer for mental health, for our nation, and for our community. I invite you to center yourself and close your eyes and affirm with me in that beautiful imagination of yours. Mother, Father, God, we recognize you as the one power and one presence that made all things. Your word is power. Your expression is love. You that made all things, made all things through love and intention. That means that I am the activity of love in this world. I am the heart and hands of God in my life. I am more than my diagnosis. For I was created with purpose and intention. I am here to serve with love. For our full potential is realized through acts of faith and service. And I serve in my community because I want them to be served well. With an open heart and an open mind, I recognize the value in every person and that each person is the activity of God in this world. So no matter our role in our community and in our lives, everyone's contribution matters. Everyone adds to the spark of this beautiful community. And this is how we empower each other to grow and serve together for we are better together in loving service and in Christ's name amen amen greetings my name is Lindsay Ann Sudeikis uh, and the prayer emerges from Catholic mystical tradition really just taking a moment here to listen in to the beating of our hearts, the catching the beating heart of the cosmos herself, of whom God, that Elohim, Yeshua, Ruha, Chadosh, that ancient mystic love of whom is the author and origin. And from this rooted, dropped in place, praying for all of our kin who experience mental health um, issues in any way, just praying for their recovery and their wellness and their integration that they may thrive. Mm. Mary, Queen of all hearts, Ora pro nobis, Melachim, you holy angels. Ora pro nobis, Desert mothers and fathers. Ora pro nobis, Teresa of Avila, Stein and Saint Imphna. Or ha pro nobis, Thomas Aquinas, John of the Cross, and Louis de Montfort. Or ha pro nobis, all the holy wise and ancestors of those who are listening. 
Ora pro nobis. I pray that your your tender mercies and your caring and your blessings flow to each and every one that needs them, Lord. I pray for the homeless. I pray they'll find shelter and they will not have to suffer. I pray that those who are suffering from any kind of ailment, they be blessed and their lives be touched by you, that they'll get the healing they need or they'll get uplifted in you, Lord. I ask those that have suffered from depression and bipolar and all the ailments of the, the mind, that you just touch them and uplift them and give them a special caring, Lord. Touch their lives that they know that you are there and you're there for them, each and every one. I ask that whatever is going on in this world, Lord, that is not of you, be banished, you know, Lord. I know that I have friends that are that are suffering and they just need you, Lord, and they, they're calling out to you, Lord, and they are suffering. And I ask that you just touch them, Lord, and let them know that you are there for them and that they are uplifted in you, Lord Jesus. I thank you for everything you do in this world. And I thank you that you have made an absolute promise to each and every one of us Lord Jesus, that you will never leave us, never forsake us. And I ask, Lord Jesus, that you thank, that uh, that I am thankful for everything you do in my life. I thank you how you provided for me, Lord Jesus. I thank you that you've given everything that I have in this trailer and in my mind, in my body, in my spirit. I thank you that you've given those to me and that you've made me thankful and that you've made me see how what a blessing my life is so that you have blessed it, Lord Jesus. I thank you for everything that you've done and are, are continuing to do. And I ask that this be done. And, and I pray continuously, Lord Jesus, for your just many blessings on my friends, my family, my, 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 my clubhouse members, everyone all around this world. I ask that you just touch each and every heart, Lord Jesus. Hi, I'm Trina. I would like for you to pray with me. Let's bow our hearts. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, I'm praying for our community that we stay strong and focused. We pray that the laws reach each other's hearts. We pray for mental health through Jesus Christ. Lord, we seek the power of your spirit that we may live in fullest union with you, ourselves and our sisters and brothers with mental illness. I pray that we may gain courage to love and understand each other. I'm praying for people dealing with substance abuse that they find the love of Christ. Amen. My name is Reverend Carrie Masters. I'm the senior minister for the Center for Spiritual Living in Redlands, California. I'm honored to be a part of this prayer. So I invite you to close your outer eyes, to open wide those inner spiritual eyes, and recognize with me the divine presence of God that is truly all there is, that divine presence that is love and wisdom and wealth and peace and joy, that divine presence that is health and wholeness on every level. And I know that as we are created by this divine creator with all of these attributes, we too are blessed with every attribute that is present in this power and presence we know as God. I know that we are healthy, we are whole, we are perfect. I know that we are the divine in form. And I know that everyone within the sound of my voice is healed by this affirmative prayer. And I speak my word to know the truth about all people around the world, all people near and far. And the truth is that wholeness is at the center and the circumference of their being. Every person is blessed with that healing presence of the divine that is bringing them into a state of peace, a state of wellness, a state of joy, a state of goodness. And I know that whatever may be a dis-ease within them is now released 
and moved out into the universe from whence it came so that more wholeness can be embraced and embodied by all of those who require this healing and this blessing. Good day. My name is Delroy Brooks. I am the pastor of the Juniper Avenue Seventh-day Adventist Church in Fontana, California. As part of our tradition, prayer is very necessary, very powerful, uh, very impactful in that we recognize that prayer may not always change things, but it always changes us, makes us more grateful, makes us uh, more um, willing to see good in others. So we, in many of our services, you'll find us praying up to three and four times. We always pray to begin. We always pray to close. And then there are particular aspects of our services where we will just take uh, the issues of our collective body or take the issues of a family or take the issues of someone going through something in particular to the Lord in prayer. And I'd like to share a prayer with you. Would you bow with me or just take a moment to pause? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for what you do in our lives daily, as well as how you set us forward and in motion to do things that would benefit us for the future. Today, God, we come before you lifting up not only our county and our cities, but God, we bring before you all of the issues dealing with mental health in our county and in our cities. So God, we ask that you would lead us to be people who uh, would use wisdom in dealing with others. God, that you would open our hearts to be able to recognize what uh, the needs of others are and be able to sacrifice for their benefit. God, we ask that you would continue to lead, guide, and direct. We thank you for all of the people who work within our spirituality subcommittee from the county, who the work tirelessly to benefit uh, those who are dealing with mental health issues. God, we lift them all up to you today and we uh, give your name praise for not only what you're going to do, but what you've already begun doing as your word says that you are faithful to complete those things that you've started in the lives of your people. And God, we rely upon that by faith today. In Jesus name, I pray. Amen. Thank you. I'm Laura Sandage. This is the Earth Chapel. And this is a drum made by George Lewis of the Snanaima people. I consider myself an interfaith animist and I practice ancestral reverence. Dear ancestors and guides, all the wise ones who Hi, my name is Steven Diaz. I'm praying um, 
in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, Lord, Father God, I come to you with thanksgiving. Lord, I thank you for the day. Lord, I thank you um, for the gift, Lord. In 1 Corinthians 13, 13, it says, And now abide faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these is love. Heavenly Father, Lord, I, I pray for hope, Lord. I pray that um, our community, those suffering from substance abuse, would find hope, faith, and love. Father God, I pray for our community, for all those um, suffering with mental illness, Lord. I pray that uh, you would send godly people to them, Lord. I pray that you would uplift them, encourage them, and let them know that there is hope and uh, to have faith, and most of all, to love themselves and love others. I pray this in the holy and mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Good evening, or good morning. My name is Pastor Jesse. I am the coordinator of Impact Veterans Outreach Ministry. A little about us. We are a faith-based Christian outreach ministry. Our mission is to establish a safe environment for veterans and active military, both men and women, in every branch of service. To meet with others who struggle with the same issues. And also to fulfill all their spiritual needs. Let's pray. Lord, we come to you with all our requests. That you give us comfort, courage, and direction during these times of uncertainty. For there are many who are struggling with anxiety, depression, fear, and even some may have suicidal thoughts. So we turn to you. For you are our strength and our refuge and in you we put our trust. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, everyone. My name is Marcelina Shackleford, and I am a Senyo and Compenyo Indian from Dumchanga and Paula Band of Mission Indian. I'm a prevention educator with Riverside San Bernardino County Indian Health at the Native American Resource Center. Hello, my name is Juanito Hunter. I am Mandan and Arikara, Native Indian Tribe. I'm a prevention educator with Riverside San Bernardino County Indian Health at the Native American Resource Center. Nihana Washte, a Machiapi Nahan Julie Andrews, Sichango Lakota Oyate He Mata Hishto. Good morning, my name is Julie Andrews. I'm a licensed clinical social worker with the Riverside San Bernardino County Indian Health at the Native American Resource Center. And I'm also a citizen of the Sichango Band of Lakota Nation. The song we're going to sing this morning is an honor song, the Onchi Non Tonkashila song, and the song acknowledges our ancestors and all the things that have been shown to us, the things we've been taught to do. The song acknowledges all the teachings from the universe, the knowledge and wisdom given to us by not only those who have come before us, but also those who are still living. My name is Kristen Hauser, and I come not from a specific faith tradition today, but from the realm of potential when connecting with the plant and animal kingdoms of earth. My prayer today is for restorative balance and wellness for our planet and within our human communities. That in connecting with the rhythms of our world, we indeed remember our own. That we honor the courage required to navigate the shadow as we step into plentiful light. My prayer is for greater curiosity in interspecies communication and collaboration, and that we find ourselves in each other. 
May the tiniest details of our world make way for grand and beautiful realizations about nourishing our ecosystems and our hearts. Thank you. Buenos días. Me llamo Marla y hoy estoy en mi casa en el territorio Ahashemen y Tongva. Um, mi familia es chicana, chicano, chicanex, y ahora quiero compartir con ustedes una oración. Creador y ancestros, te queremos dar la gra las gracias para todo que nos dan, para esta tierra, para el chance de vivir con orgullo y amor. Te queremos pedir ayuda a caminar este camino con dignidad, con amor, que nos ayuda a hacer el trabajo de construir un mundo justo y sostenible para nosotros, para nuestros hijos, para nuestros abuelos y abuelas para nuestras comunidades que pueden tener comida saludable, agua limpia, aire limpia, que podamos construir un, un mundo donde hay más justicia, donde podemos caminar felices y seguros sin miedo. Gracias por todo. Ometeo, ajo. Greetings, I'm Dr. Daniel Four. I'm a psychotherapist, a doctor of psychology, and a ritualist and educator focusing on work with the ancestors and earth honoring traditions. I pray that the good earth and the wise and kind ancestors of everyone watching this video may help you to be resourced to render your service in the world in ways that are humble and kind and sustainable. I pray that you see always the people you're serving with great humanity and care and humility. I pray that you have no shame at resolving what is fearful and still unresolved in your own psyche. And I pray that you have the courage to speak to oppression as it exists in your own life and in the lives of your clients so that they feel heard and met and understood by the ways that our culture is still deeply unhealthy and that you're able to be a channel and a conduit for love and kindness, real kindness in your service with people and that you get recharged yourself. You step back when you need to. You walk in service to the earth and feel good about what you're doing and good about yourself. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Hello, everyone. Um, this is Jonathan Bufong of the San Bernardino County Department of Behavioral Health. I am uh, with the Office of Cultural Competency and Ethnic Services. I am also your representative for the subcommittee. I've had a chance to check out just a couple of the, the blessings and prayers and expressions, and I'm just, I really am, I, I'm just deeply moved by the, the sincerity, um, I, I don't even know how to describe it, but I want to thank every single person that was involved in putting this project together. Um, even if you didn't get a chance to send in a video and you wanted to send a video, I want to thank you. But for everyone that we did receive videos, thank you for your expression. Thank you for your, your love and thank you for your willingness to contribute. Um, I want to thank our director of our department, Veronica Kelly, who has always given us the support we needed, and our cultural competency officer, Maribel Gutierrez, for leading the way and making sure that we do something for this, um, for our community, for um, the population that we serve, our stakeholders, because we need this. Finally, I want to thank um, our, our, our chair and our co-chair. Jessica Headley has um, been such a powerful force in making sure that we continue to do this project every year. And she has guided us in doing something new and innovative every single time. And then Ellen has brought on to complement that. And thank you, Ellen, for all the things that you do. So before we sign off, um, I'll, I wanna do a quick prayer myself. It's gonna be real quick. Dear God, uh, just give us grace. 
Give us hope, give us unity, and continue to bless our community. In your name, amen. Thank you guys for watching. Please join our subcommittee. We meet on the second Tuesday of every month at one o'clock to about two o'clock. There's a, a need for you. We really want you to be a part of this. And um, we're signing off. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.